need to do now is identify another detail from this part of the story um, that describes why it's better to be safe than sorry, because that's what we identified as our possible theme so far. Okay, we have to read the rest of the story to identify what our theme is overall. But as of now, um, she doesn't want to walk by the dog. She walks extra blocks. She's terrified. Um, she does everything she can to stay away from dogs, which she's trying to be safe um, because she doesn't want to get hurt again. So it's better to be safe than sorry is what we think our theme is as of now. So I identify another detail um, that tells me why or what she does. Um, to prove that it's better to be safe than sorry. We will continue reading the rest of the story, and then we will identify an overall theme, okay? After we read, we'll underline details that show how she's changing in the story. So, one day, Tiana's class took a field trip to an animal shelter. The tour guide explained different types of dogs and their behaviors. Tiana asked the guide many questions and described her fear of dogs. You should never act scared of a dog, the guide explained. If you walk calmly and with confidence, the dogs are less likely to bark at you. The guide demonstrated this for Tiana and her class. Walking home from school that day, Tiana decided to be brave and give it a try. She walked confidently past Millie. At first, the dog stood up and stared, but when it saw Tiana holding her head high, it sat down quietly. Tiana felt proud and not scared at all. So we're going to underline some details that show us how she's changing first. Um, so let's see. All right. Walking home from school that day, Tiana decided to be brave and give it a try. She walked confidently past Millie. At first, the dog stood up and stared. But when it saw Tiana holding her head high, it sat down quietly. Tiana felt proud and not scared at all. So this whole last paragraph basically shows that she became brave and um, confident because she learned something that was going to help her in life. Okay, She had knowledge over this new topic that she didn't know, um, which helped her become very confident and um, not as scared as she was before. So what life lesson can you learn from reading this story? So I'll have you identify the um, multiple choice that best describes the lesson that she learned and that we can learn as well. A, knowledge can help a person overcome fears. B, friends stand by you even when times are tough. C, dogs only bark at people who act scared. Or D, confidence does not help solve problems. So which response or answer best describes the theme of the story? What theme did she learn that we can learn as well? So after we have um, identified a theme for our story, we're going to do the short response. Look at the answer you chose above. Explain which details from the story help to convey this theme. So we're going to start by saying, identifying our theme and then our details. So we are going to say the theme of this story is, and just copy which theme you picked up there, okay? And then which details help prove that? So looking up in our story at the things we underlined, um, how do those support this theme? So you could say in the text, it says, and what does it say um, that supports our theme? Okay. If you have any questions, message me on Schoology. I'll get back as soon as I can.